Hello my lovelies, this is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations. I hope you are all doing well and welcome to my channel. In today's video I have another project connected with ocean art and here I have a 40 cm diameter MDF board and I'll create with sculptor mold this material uh, an island so I have of course prepared the board I painted it with gesso and uh, I kind of draw on it where I would like this island to be and now I'm just slowly sculpting and making creating this island uh, it's kind of uh, volcanic uh, meteorite place in ocean I did look it up uh, and uh, got this reference from Google so that's great and this material is great as well because you can just add water to it and it's you can make anything out of it and uh, it dries uh, roughly in few days but uh, uh, you can work with it for about 20 minutes I prefer to mixing in small amounts so you can always mix some more it's super easy it's ready in one minute you just need to add water and mix it so now about three days passed and now I will uh, do the painting job so those were my paints that I'm using and I do mix them uh, quite much with water so the because this material it's kind of like a sponge a little bit and it absorbs uh, and so the water and the paint it should be kind of watery so i like to paint first brown my base is brown and then I mix my black as well with quite a bit of water and I just go over and kind of uh, make the crooks and crannies pop and look a bit more realistic so yeah it's uh, everybody's preference and so far I find that this way works for me and I'm happy in then how it looks so here I'm going over with the blacks how I mentioned before and after that I will paint uh, my ocean bed uh, blue and just leave it again to dry and then I will move on to the next step just want to add one thing that when I create this kind of works I do feel like a God the creator and I am power I have the power to create uh, how I would love the world to look
So the paint job it's finished and I will let it to dry for again one or two days and now I'm moving on and gonna add some green um, on this island so there are kind of bushes and grass growing so I'm just putting regular PVA glue and after I'll sprinkle this green stuff on top and make it look like something is growing there and after it finished to dry I will add a different kind of greens again mix it together with PVA glue so it stick in a place and gonna wait when it dries to move on to the next step. So the next step, a uh, resin part. So I'll have here premixed some amount of resin and I dyed it with the colors that I desire. And now I'm just covering the board. I'll have three layers of resin and I was really thinking what to do this time. Uh, should I make some waves or should I leave the water just simple poor resin and I really wasn't sure what to do. And then I thought about uh, trying to make some water uh, textures so I thought that it would be a great idea on the last layer just to put uh, some uh, plastic film so you're gonna see me I'll do that to try to achieve some interesting water uh, texture on top
So honestly looking right now at this piece I really like it and I should have just add this last resin piece resin layer and left it just like that. But once again I was adventurous and I decided to experiment with this plastic sheets and create uh, the waterfall effect on top of my beautiful sea. I'm not sure what did go wrong for me. Maybe I chose the wrong plastic. Maybe I left it too long. Definitely I left it for a bit over 24 hours. So here it is, just regular plastic. That I'm placing on top of my resin. And as the layer is really thin, I thought it's gonna look really cute. So I let it cure, how I mentioned, I left it over 24 hours, perhaps that was my mistake. Uh, so here I'm trying to get it off and you can imagine the feeling is not the best when what you thought will work, it doesn't. But we all make mistakes and this piece is just gonna go next to my other ones on the wall in my hallway which with pieces that are okay but not 100% great. My learning curve. So some parts is okay to remove but uh, some was quite hard. So I was nearly crying here because I <laughs> was so sad that I ruined this beautiful piece. I worked it so hard uh, and I like it how it came along very much. And at the very last layer I did mess it up. So also trying with uh, heat just to kind of mask the, the plastic there. And this is kind of the end result. From far away it looks quite alright. But once you zoom in you can see everything. But the idea is alright I think. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know in comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye!